I've always really been interested in what it means to be a cultural hybrid, what it means to kind of move through multiple spaces, cultural spaces, and kind of transform as one kind of interacts with those places. And when I started building my practice, I kind of combined those two elements, this anthropological interest in knowing others and my own personal interest in understanding what it means to be somebody who's an accumulation of multiple cultures, which really, in some ways, we all are. And the empathics became a vehicle for thinking about that. The empathics actually began to transform physically and culturally because of a genetic mutation. And a chimera basically is this genetic mutation. It's, it's a combination of multiple forms of DNA in a single organism. And usually it's not cross kingdom, but in this case, in this fiction, the empathics become part plant and part human. Chimatech comes from, the title comes from, truncating the word chimera. So it's mythological monster combined with technology. And all of the projects of Chimatech involve some sort of physical, cultural, emotional, transformative technology. One of the things that's deeply been inspiring to me about Enter the Mandala, Cosmic Centers and Mental Maps of Himalayan Buddhism, were the structure of the actual exhibition. I really love the way that the space is formatted, that there's a central stupa in the middle of these four beautiful visionary paintings. And the dancers will actually take the place of the stupa. They will be in the center of the mandala. And Samsung Hall will turn into a physicalization of a mandala. I'm collaborating with five dancers, four who will be in the live performance and one who will be in the animation. They know their craft, they know their practice. And so I really can trust them to produce something that is unique and responsive and also incredibly collaborative. Many of them know each other already. That's kind of an important part of what I do. I like to produce a context within which people already feel kind of comfortable kind of playing in a space. I grew up in Japan part-time and made things with origami and the colors, the, the kind of chroma of that paper, I think has impacted the way that I've constructed my objects and garments for the last 15 years. One of the things that I love about how people talk about color in my work is that it's almost dizzying. It's almost too much to look at. And that's, I think, a pretty powerful thing. The idea that it's so, it's, it's supposed to be something beautiful, but actually it's almost hallucinogenic and disorienting. That experience of disorientation is something I attempt to bring to people's experience. My projects are much more about constructing uh, a long-term narrative fiction that takes you through the experience of being. Much like a fiction writer, my projects are multi-part projects that continue to emerge and evolve and kind of negotiate the tensions and the beauty of being contemporary hybrid. The possibility of a visual form of awareness, I think, is the job of any good contemporary artist, to try and bring a new kind of awareness to the person who's seeing the work. We're trying to give people access to new ways of seeing and being.